Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Eliza Fi Creative. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that I've promised to create this step-by-step -step tutorial in Illustrator creating this design. But before I get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm going to start with a blank canvas. As you see below, I have my color palette here with the color code, so go ahead and use it if you'd like. Um, first things first is I'm going to type out the font using a font from dafont.com called Aldo the Apache. I clearly said that wrong, but I will link it down below so you can use it if you'd like. I'm then going to color the font so you can see what I'm doing with the 3D tool. And then I'm going to hit Shift Command O on my keyboard to outline the font. I'm then going to go up to Effect. 3D and materials and then extrude and bevel and I'm going to play around with the presets so you it looks like an isometric type style design and then I want my design to be able to render as a vector so that's what I'm doing in this box here and then I'm just gonna play around with the presets on every single letter by themselves individually and then I will show you the next step. All right, so this is what my layout will look like. And then I'm going to right click on my mouse and hit on group and then move each letter over individually to close the gap a little bit just because I don't like how it looks. So once I'm done the layout, I'm going to ungroup everything because I have rendered the design as a vector but there's that vector the PNG above it so I'm going to ungroup everything and then click using my direct select tool the image and bring it up and you can see the wireframe of the design so now I'm just going to use my shape builder tool and create the shapes of each letter so you can't see those inner 3D lines. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so I've done building my shapes using the Shape Builder tool. I'm then going to select the entire design and fill it with white so I can use my direct select tool and start coloring the shapes that I want them to be. I love this color palette so much. I hope you guys use it in your designs. If you do, post it on Instagram and tag me. That would be awesome. So I'm just going to fill in the shapes, the colors, and then I will show you the next steps. All right, so then I'm going to select the entire design and color the stroke black using the stroke panel. And then I'm going to add that yellow background using the rectangle tool so it really gives that pop of color. I'm then going to use the pen tool to draw the lines where I want to break the shapes. I'm then going to select everything and use the shape builder tool to create those individual shapes on the letter forms just like this and then delete the excess lines. We don't need those. Using the direct select tool, I'm going to copy the shapes that I want to add those lines. So all I'm doing is hitting Command C and Command F, and then that duplicates it on top of it. And I'm going to move it over to the side so I can work not on top of my graphic. I'm then creating a diagonal line using my pen tool. I'm then going to hit Command C, Command F to duplicate and then drag it down. Select both of them and go up to Object, Blend and Make. Back to Object, Blend and Blend Options. Select Specified Steps and create more lines and then hit OK. I'm then going to select the lines and I'm going to go up to Object, Expand and hit OK. I'm going to select the object and then make sure that it's behind the lines. I'm then going to select everything, go to the Pathfinder tool and hit Divide. I'm then going to hit Command Y on my keyboard just to check everything, make sure it's all cleaned up. I do notice these lines, so I'm going to use my direct select tool and get rid of them. 
I'm then going to select everything, kill the fill, and then add a stroke just like this. I'm then going to drag it down above my original design and line it up just like this. Using the direct select tool, I'm just selecting individual lines and then hitting delete just so I can get that broken up effect within the lines. You don't have to do this. I liked how it looked, so I'm going to just finish this up and then I will show you the final design. All right, guys, so this is my final design. If you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will link all my socials down below in the description, and I will see you in the next one.